What's good, social media? I'm cooking, so y'all gonna have to deal with me moving, but I got a story. <laughs> anyway, so what I want to talk to y'all about. Oh, the awakening. Okay, so like I'm pretty sure if you came across this video, then you know, you pretty much have some sort of idea of what spirituality is and Maybe a little bit, bits and pieces of how it works or whatever. And, or you have more advanced knowledge than that. So, um, I don't think I really have to explain what an awakening is. But I will ex explain one of my awakenings. This would be like the second one. So, like, awakenings are kind of like the things that happen before initiation, right? So, like, when you're a solo practitioner... Your initiations look different than they do in organized religions. And the reason for that is you're a solo practitioner. So you have to learn your thing in the way the spirit is going to show them specifically to you. All right? And that's how you get to where you want. So basically, when I had my second awakening, because I think I told y'all this story before, I had my first awakening when I was about nine, okay? Now, upon doing some study of family history, it would seem that it would be somewhere between seven and nine, okay? So, somewhere around there. But anywho... The second awakening came because as you, my first awakening for me was just my perception of the world just changed instantaneously. This blink one day and whoa, where am I? You know, the world just looked very different. And, um, after that, I mean, you grow up and you know things don't quite seem right and certain things aren't what they seem and you feel like you alone in the world or you labeled the weirdo or whatever i went through all of that stuff <clears throat> and my second awakening was i you know i grew up in church was active in church church never really just got down and did it for me and so, I'm in this place where I got the indoctrination from the church. So, then I move, and I move to Islam, and I go to Islam, and I'm seeing some of the same things that I saw in the church, and I'm getting the same feel. And then, I went and tried a couple of African traditional religions, and pretty much the same thing. And it's like, religion is religion. So, I prayed, and I asked God to show me who he was, <clears throat> and that is when the shit came down, okay? <laughs> so, um, when I asked this question, um, stuff that I had been seeing before, you know, it started coming back up, but it was coming up as a more in-depth thing to pay attention to. Okay, more in-depth thing to pay attention to. So, looking at it, and then, I by this time, pretty much, hearing the voice of God was sort of like a normal thing to me. That started, like, from the time of my first awakening. Like, I really started to understand and listen and know what that voice is and all of that stuff. So, I'm getting messages like, you keep studying, you keep reading, you keep exploring, when are you going to do it? And I'm like, well, you know what, do it. And part of that, it was, it was fearful. That's an initiation, to just do it. To just do it is an initiation, okay? That is a initiation to just do it. When you are a solo practitioner, just do it is an initiation by spirit. It's not going to look like everybody else's, okay? It's not going to look 
the same. There will be similar aspects, but <clears throat> you are getting a direct thing instead of this cookie cutter or time tested method. Okay, there are some things that you can do with a group that don't necessarily work out well with an individual. Okay, and vice versa. And that's the difference between a solo practitioner and those that are a part of a, a labeled or organized religion. Okay. So, um, just do it. Upon doing it, I started to learn and see more things. It is a understanding that, you know, it's hard to convey and put into words. Like, it's one thing to talk about it. It's a whole different situation when you actually walk the walk, talk the talk. Things become different. A lot of things that, you know, you want to be able to explain, you can't explain it to somebody who isn't practicing, you know, because they just won't get it. They lack the experience to actually understand. Now, some people can theoretically talk to you about things that they read, but, uh, a lot of them, that's it. it. It won't get, you won't have a really in-depth conversation because they lack that experience. And so, your awakenings are like initiations. It is to get you to the next level, to the next step. Okay? So, with my second one, I started doing and when I started doing I started to see a lot of things but the, the thing was to just ask God who are you display yourself to me because it's so much out here that says this that and the third and you can't do this and you can't do that and things don't make sense and things are contradictory and people say this and people say that and people do this and people do that and I just want to know and the more that I get involved into it, the more I find out that God is everything. And good and evil is subjected to a situation. Um, intent is a thing. The context of the intent is a thing. All of these things actually matter. Things that people don't like take into consideration. These are, are things that you learn when you actually practice. When you got stuff going on. When you can actually put what you read, studied, and learned into practice. Okay? It's a amazing journey. I have to say, if you watch this video and you just scared to step out there and just do it. Hey, like Nike says, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And if you don't like it, you can always go somewhere else. That's your right. That is your choice. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And uh, I hope that made sense because I'm kind of doing things at the time and I was just talking and spirit led me. So y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and lights. And uh, we'll see you next video.